This stuff is unbelievable. Oh my gosh! Here I have a piece of oolitic ironstone jasper that I found here in Minnesota. And today we're gonna to be taking it to our lapidary saw, cutting it a few times, and taking one of those slabs, bringing it back down here to our cabbing machine, and making a beautiful cabochon from it. Let's head out and cut it into a few slabs. So I have briefly shown you the exterior and you can see how beautiful this material is. So let's take the first peek of what the inside of it looks like together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so pretty. Gosh, that is going to make a really beautiful cabochon. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take one more slab out of it right here. It'll be a good, good width. And then we'll see what we have on the side and we'll shape that. It's a bird! This stuff is unbelievable. I can't... Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Look at that! Are you... Oh my gosh! What? Look at these... So we have three for sure pieces that we can turn into cabochons. These are unbelievable. Those are crazy. Get out of here, that's nuts. This is the only piece of this I've ever found. The colors in that. Wow, all right, let's head in and we'll figure out which one we're gonna make a cabochon out of. So I've decided that this is the piece we're gonna be making a cabochon out of. Now, I got it wet and took a picture of it with my macro lens to show you how beautiful this piece is. Up close, take a look at this. Yeah, that is pretty wild. So I'm gonna draw a rough shape on here and we'll get to shaping and polishing. So there is the initial shape that I put on our slab and it was a little small, but when I flip it over and I look at it like this, I really like the size of that. So I'm gonna just ignore that, start bringing these sides down now and start giving it that domed face before we move on. So we're still on the 220 grit diamond wheel and it's gonna look really, really beautiful. So we were on the 220 grit wheel for about 10, 15 more minutes, and we got it to the shape right here. It's obviously dry, that's why it looks so chalky, but the shape of it I think it's coming out really well. It looks pretty even for it being freeform. And we're gonna now move on to the black 280 grit soft back res wheel. And we can really start working out all those flat spots and refining that shape and seeing if we are then ready to move on to the rest of the wheels, which uh, we're probably gonna spend the most time on that 280 grit wheel. So let's get started. So we just worked it on the 280 grit res wheel and this is only the second time I've ever used these res wheels and I can tell that even at the 280 grit it's just taking material off it and it's not a bad thing but I'm just I'm learning as I go here with my new wheels on my Cab King and forever and always going to be learning but I'm going to move on to the 600 grit wheel and see if it can just be a little bit lighter and not take off so much material because I did end up making it a little bit thinner than I wanted to 
um, and well, thinner than I planned on, but I'm loving the shape of it, and it's probably better than what it was, but I don't want to take off too much. So we're going to move on to the 600 grit resin wheel, right? Right there. Well, we worked it on the 600 pretty good and it's looking really, really great. I love the iron in there that is starting to get a beautiful shine to it. But over on this side, got some troublemakers over here. Right in here, it's like it's pitting and then it looks like there's a potential fracture right there. So there's nothing I can really do about that. Just is what it is, gives it some character on that side. I mean. We got more pieces, so we'll work more of this in the future, but this is probably one of the closest to perfect pieces I've ever worked. So we're now gonna move on to the right side where we have the 1200, 3000, and 8000, and we're gonna start cooking over there, and we'll have this thing shiny in no time at all. So we have finished up our cabochon and this is the back of it, but the front looks amazing. It's got a beautiful dome to it and you can see the light playing all over it. It has a lot of character to it. You can see over here, like I said, got that natural pitting, just is what it is. But the details in this are so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, it just makes me smile. I am going to get some macro pictures of it to put up right now just because there's there's so much beauty in this. I want to show it to you up close. So, hope you enjoy that. So after just over an hour of polishing that piece, we have our finished cabochon. And as you saw by those macro pictures, <laughs> there is so much going on inside that. And that's why I love it so much, especially because it is the only piece of that Ulytic Iron Stone that I have ever found. It's so beautiful. It looks just like Dino Bone, if you've ever seen that. It's unbelievable. It's some of the most beautiful material that I have ever worked, I've ever seen in person. And I mean, I've, I love agates, they're my favorite mineral. And, um, but that piece being the only one I've ever found over three and a half years of looking up here in Northern Minnesota, it means a lot to me. And I'm very excited that I got to share the entire process with all of you. That's what makes me the most happy. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.